Hello, welcome to Tibu's Investigative Card Making, where we help you discover the creativity in you. My name is Tibu, short for Teresa Bullman, and um, I also go by Tara, so we, either way. Uh, but I'm really excited. We've changed the month's layouts on the videos. They're not going to be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of kits. We're going to do the kits on Mondays, and then I'm going to try to come up with something on Wednesday and Friday. And today, I watched a video, I think it was last night, or but yeah, last night, and it was, I love, I love listening to this person. Her name is Cindy Brum, Brumbaugh. Gosh, Cindy, I hope I pronounced your name right. I don't like butchering people's names. Um, she's of Cindy Lee Designs. And she had this amazing layout. I loved it. So let me show you the card. Well, my I have her layout, but I had to tweak it because I didn't have some of the things she had. So we are working with the same set that she was using, which was, oh, you almost saw the card, didn't you? <laughs> the cup of tea, and it's a su sweet. I'm sorry, I don't pronounce that very well. And, well, I left out my catalog, probably out in the living room, because I don't see it in here. But anyways, it's a suite. It comes with, um, you can get this and the framelits, which, oh, they're laid out already. Doo -doo -doo. Here are the, tea, um, the dies. And there are... 17 dies and what I do is I usually keep my dies with the cor corresponding stamp set and then in it is not this um and this is part of what we're doing but oh dear um the tea tea boutique cards and envelopes oops that's not them <laughs> these are the cards and envelopes so they have, these are all in the end colors, which is really, really cool. Let me just fan out these. Um, I have some left, actually. Um, we have Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Tahitian Tide, my favorite, which is Orchid Oasis, and Starry Sky. And then it also comes with uh, bases of the same. Well, the bases are actually different. Let me show you the bases. We were going to work with this one, I think, but I'm not sure. I may change my mind as I usually do. Okay, so we have Starry Sky here. We have Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, and one, two. Oh, we're missing. Oh, here it is. We were missing when I said, my goodness. No, it's not in here. But anyways, there's Tahitian Tide and Orchid Oasis. Where, oh, here it is underneath this one. Here's Sweet Sorbet. So, let me ponder which one I want. Well, I'm going to show you the cards that I started to do. Okay, and then I'm going to show you a couple of things extra. Um... Basically, almost everything I did was almost the same way as she did. Oh, and these are the uh, Tea Boutique 6x6 Designer Series paper. And she uses 6x6. She, you know, she used this one. But the, the design she used was this one. And I'm, you see the scraps. That's all I have left of them. My favorite ones. Of course, I had to use those, right? Okay, so push those all over. We're also going to be using strips of um, the in color cardstock. So this is the one, this is my finished one, okay? And I went ahead and did the other ones in advance, but I, I am going to show you the cutting thing, um, how she cut and stuff. And I found out some other couple of things too. Anyway, um, she had a circle with the teacup and I I didn't have, well, I had the circle and I had, the, I had everything, but I just, 
um, with the difficulty of my hand, I can't use my um, uh, cut and emboss very well. So I have to have somebody come over and do them. And this time I did it. So anyways, this is the my finished product of her design. And I loved it. And I named it um, handkerchief, the handkerchief card. The reason I did was because it looks, by the way that we cut this, like she, how she had us cut it, um, it looked like a tea cup, uh, not a tea cup, it looked like a tea towel. You know those tea towels that you, when you go eat out and stuff and they give you a little tea towel? Okay, well, when I went out for tea, that's what they gave us. But it also looked like one of the fancy kerchiefs, handkerchiefs that my grandmother would have. So I thought, well, a tea towel and a and a kerchief is basically not the same. <laughs> I was going to say they were the same. They're not. So anyway, let me show you what I did. This is the finished one. And then I took these. Oh, and I also made sure that, because um, when you cut them, they they go in all different orientations. So this is this is the orientations they came, okay, um, or that I did them, and they were, um, how do you call, uh, like up and down? I don't I don't know how to call that. I'm sorry. This one opens this way. Oh, and this one will open this way, and this one will open this way, and this one, okay, same as that, and then this one opens like this so I really really loved it I haven't I thought we'd do this one and then I'm like I have no idea <laughs> because it's different right so um we'll go ahead and do that one since it's different right okay so I'm setting these aside and I'll finish these off later should have went ahead and finished them but um now we'll I also, what I did was, as you see, or don't see, whoopsie, you don't see. <laughs> okay, I used the, um, they're right here. They're called um, Stylish Shapes dies, And I used, let me take this out. So I, I was, I thought not to do it this way, but there we go. Okay, so I use this one right here, the second one to the smallest, okay? And I just, oh my stars, it was so easy to easy. I loved it. Um, I wanted to stay square instead of circle. Um, she used the state, sh state, the stylish shapes, um, circles, but in white for her sentiment. And then she used like, um, I think it was, um, sweet sorbet, but in the scallops. So in our um, uh, layering circles dies. So I, I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it a little bit different, but yet her, her, this is her. I wouldn't have gotten this without her design. So um, this is awesome. Cindy is, is, I love watching her videos as I do many other people too. Like, um, and Connie Stewart and and I oh my gosh um Lisa Kurt Kurt I can't pronounce her last name and I will not butcher it but anyways um bunch of different people I watch and even some new people I've noticed have come on and I watch them too because everybody's got great ideas and then I try to incorporate them sometimes I'll take from two different people's ideas and and incorporate a card for myself so this one all Cindy, um, except me on this. This is the only thing that's me. Well, actually, this and this is me. That's it. <laughs> oh, and I did pick this design. So, okay. <sighs> Got to give me some credit, right? Okay, so this is what I, I'm going to get out the pieces for this card. We're going to stamp this because I have an idea for that. Oh, and uh, I was watching, I don't, oh, Lisa Cur Curcio? Oh, I went and tried to butcher, I mean, say it without butchering it. I hope I said it right. Her daughter loves to, um, loves to what? She loves to fussy cut. 
<laughs> I know a lot of you do. I am not a fussy cutter. I, I've never done it. Um, when I got into paper cutting or paper crafting, I thought it was going to be easy peasy, double cheesy. It's not. Excuse me. My um, receiver for my pump is going off and I'm trying to shut it off. So I have been practicing and this is what I came up with. Let me see if I can. Nope. Let's put it over here. Not bad, but I don't like it. Okay, it's not as pretty as Gina's um, uh, work. And that's, I believe that's what um, Lisa's daughter's name is. But yikes, it didn't, I saw somebody else do a fussy cut of this one. And I tried to do it and I'm like, yeah, my scissors are not cooperating and neither is my hand. So yikes, we're not using this one. So I decided, well, since I can't fussy cut really, then we will do squares, okay? So I went with squares, and I like that. I, it turned out kind of good. Now, I have to tell you, I went and got some input from my family and friends. Um, one of the ladies is in my card making class here in Newport, and the other one, other ones, was, one was my husband and one was my sister. And my sister liked this way. So, and actually everybody liked it this way. So, except me. <laughs> I wanted that down here. They didn't like that. So, I kept it like this. And that, uh, I have no idea how we're going to do this. This I have to come up with on my own. Yikes. So, okay. I went ahead and I cut everything out. Ooh, there's stuff on the back. Now, I went and I, fu uh, not fussy cut. <laughs> yeah, no. I used the Stampin' and Cut um, emboss and I, I stamped and I cut these with that. And then we're going to adhere this, we meaning me in the mouse in my pocket. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this right now. But we need a little, wow, nothing is where it's supposed to be. Like, oh, yes it is. I cover things up with the stamps. Okay, this is a tool that I highly recommend getting. I have two of them. I'm gonna have a stack by the time I'm done. But um, I love this. Oh my goodness, you can, I did a bunch of these. As you see, these ones here, I did all these and I put them on here, okay? Because the glue does not stick to it. Tape doesn't stick to it. Nothing sticks to it. I, I'm told hot glue doesn't stick to this. Plus, when you're using photopolymer, you need a bit of a cushion, so you can use this. And my, um, whatever this is, has a little bit of a cushion too, so I generally use that. But this, oh my stars, awesome. Let me see if I can, nope. I didn't lay out any glue either, so. And I'm a multi-purpose, Tombow multi-purpose glue person. Um, I did order, <laughs> I think I ordered, the, um, the, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I can't, oh my stars, well if I have my catalog right here I can tell you, the tape thing, um, the Stampin' Plus and the Stampin' something, anyways, I ordered one of each and I said, okay, those are probably going to sit in my drawer for a long period of time because I won't use them. And my husband says, oh, yes, you will. <laughs> in a nice way, he says that. Okay. Um, oh, dear. Oopsie. Well, I just wanted to show you how I, I put this. I just put a line of, of glue down there. I try not to get it to where it's spilling out because it'll do things like oopsie um like on this one it came out a lot and i'm gonna have to get my glue eraser thing for that but we're that's the one we're actually going to use so i'm going to set this aside to dry and then um while we're letting that dry we're going to go ahead let me take some of this stuff out of my way so i can see what i'm doing we're going to bring, we meaning me and the mouse in my pocket again, are going to bring my Stamparatus in. Now I wanted to cut all the little squares out and then stamp afterwards. 
but sometimes I just don't get it centered. So I pulled out our stamp radish, which, oh my stars and garters, when this came out, I just was flipping. I knew Stampin' Up! would come out with something fantastic. So I waited and waited for this. So I was really excited when it came and oh my goodness. I have two of them accidentally, but I have two of them. <laughs> Hi, I was trying to buy the um, extra one of these and I think it was the I forget what else I was trying to get. Ma I think magnets or something and I accidentally bought a whole thing. <laughs> no problem. Anyway, I'm not going to use that one, but I learned this from somebody else too, and I'm sorry, I did not write their names down. Um, hmm, trying to think. Well, anyone, oh, I know. I think it was Mary with Stampin' Lingers, uh, but I'm not positive. I think it was her, but anyways, the thing is, is that this is, these are the four I, extras I cut out, you know, the ones that I already showed you with the four thank yous. And I thought of her idea of, you know, putting, having a little template. And so I, I didn't purposely make this as a template, but I thought, oh, I wonder if this would work. And guess what? It does. So I already mounted my stamp. See, it's mounted perfectly. Now, the reason I wanted to use this is because... I've noticed that my Tahitian Tide and my um, Parakeet Party do not, for some reason, do not ink up well. And yes, I thought of re-inking and I keep forgetting to. So, and I don't, and I just got them. So, I didn't uh, do that. I, I haven't re-inked them, but this is a perfect time to show you how wonderful this uh, Stamparatus is. Now I'm using my paper towel, which is the quicker picker upper. <laughs> this is why I don't watch, um, uh, oops, let's double check this. I don't watch commercials. Okay. So we're pressing down extremely hard. Well, not extremely. I'm using the heel of my thing here. Oh, looky there. Well, I can't show you. <laughs> well, I could, but I don't want it darker than that. But if it didn't turn out, I could go ahead and just re-ink it and put it and put it back down again. That would be awesome, right? Well, let me show you that. Let's just do that, but not with this. I'm going to take my take your pick tool because it doesn't lift up well for me. And we'll set this off to the side to dry just a tad bit. And what we'll do is we'll just move this because I don't have another square to use. And then we'll just line it up. I wonder. See? Yes, that will work. Okay. So let me tell you about the Stamparatus. This thing is so amazing. Did you get that? It's so amazing. The cool thing is about it is that you, it's, I think they call it, people call it a repositioning tool. I don't know what the re part is for, but anyways, you can just put, position your, your paper right where you want it. And if you're doing a lot of the same thing, you just, your stamp could stay there and you just keep going and going and going and going. Kind of like the energy button. You just keep going. So I'm going to purposely try to do this yucky. I'm not going to ink it up really well. Then I'll stamp it. And dadgummit, it came out good again. <laughs> well, okay, there are some speckles. Okay, some speckles. That's good. Okay, we're happy there. <laughs> I'm going to re-ink it again. And hopefully only this time we'll do. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this mess up. There we go. And see, you can go right over it and not have to worry about if your thing hasn't moved. And look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, my stars. That is just so pretty. That's, mm, 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 mm. 
Yummy, yummy for the tummy. Well, don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat it. I always say yummy. My, I found out my mom says that too. We always say everything's yummy. So let me close this up, please. Thank you so much for letting me do that. And I'm going to put it away. And so that, this, I think is just worth the, it's so worth the money of it. So now that um, I can leave it on there if I'm going to do it again, and I probably will, but at least I have something like a template that I can use for my squares. I'm going to set this aside. By the way, when you store it, this is how I store it. I generally, well, not with this stuff in there, but I store it with one plate connected and then the other plate with the outside things right like that. And then it goes into a very uh, cushiony bag that I bought. And I, I, like I said, I have two of these. So one of them goes in the Stampin' Up bag and the other one goes in a, a different cushiony bag. Okay, so this, are we done gluing? We are done gluing. Okay, so I already pre-prepped a bunch of these, but I wanted to show you how Cindy got this shape that we are trying to do and that you can use it with any um, uh, right cardstock, okay? She happened to use six by six. I am going to cut this one. I, I'm still gonna use the ones that I already did, right? So I'm going to take this this is called oh this is part of the splendid day suite it's the splendid day designer series paper and it's 12 by 12 but i'm going to take out one of the ones that i've already cut well i was let's make sure it's six um at least six inches you know i'm going to get my favorite color one there it is my favorite color which is, I think it's Fresh Freezer. Freeze, oh, I keep wanting to call it Freeze. Uh. <laughs> but I think this is Fresh Freezer. Okay, let's double check the size and let's pull in the. Um, yeah, you know what? I know what all these are. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to six, okay? because obviously it's no, yes. This is a scrap, but if you were using a 12 by 12, you wanna, well, oh, it's not in all the way? Why is that not cutting? There we go. Okay, so you wanna cut it at six, right? So you get like four of these out of one 12 by 12. And then you cut it again at six, because remember we're starting, at a six by six, um, at, a, at a piece of, whoa, can I speak now? <sighs> okay, we are cutting from a six by six. Okay, so if you're doing a 12 by 12, just cut it down to six by six. And then the most difficult part is you can't mark this on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Ooh, that's pretty. And I can't, I don't know how to zoom you in or out or whatever on this thing. So I will, hmm, let's bring this down this way. Oh, and push me out a little. Okay, so she said to mark the, um, mark every side at one and a half inches. So that's what I did, one and a half. Okay, and you take your little pencil and mark it at one and a half, and then rotate it, one and a half, oops. Mm -hmm. It's easier to see on this anyway, if you're, uh, um, for you all to see this, because then you'll be able to see my pencil marks, which I will erase eventually. And I'm, obviously, instead of cutting or scoring, I'm, I'm in the groove here. Uh, one, two, three and four one and a half and then I found this so fascinating I love this let's make sure I went one two three and four let's make that line a little bit noticeable 
Okay. So then she said to take, it doesn't matter which way you start, just take one and go to the opposite side. So this side goes to this side and this side goes to the other side. So check this out, but she had a tip. What she said was, when you cut, okay, you're lifting up, oopsie daisy, and you keep them together. So when you're turning, make sure they stay together and you got the other, oops, I have to line mine up a little tiny bit because I went off and oopsie, go here and go here. And now they're lined up. They're, all my sides are, whoops, no, they're not. Okay, that was a little off, so I'm moving it. Okay, all my sides, everything's honky-dory. So now we're going to hold it and cut, okay? Now you've got four pieces and you've got four cards. Wow, if you did this with a bunch of um, different card stock, you have a bunch of cards all at once. So now what we're going to do is, I wonder if it would work. Oh, we can't. Let's see. Well, you know what? Let, two shakes of a lamb's tail. This, this product is actually um, not available anymore. Darn it. Um, it just sold out. I mean, things are, it's celebration. Everything's selling out quickly. So what I'm going to do is take this. I, I was not prepared. I'm sorry. I could have gotten, um, I'm out of all my beautiful cardstock. So anyways, pretend this is a plain cardstock. Um, it's, uh, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and there's your base right and then you take your bone folder which mine has tried to escape apparently oh no it hasn't I see it yay and crease that are just really nice and then just pick one oh um and her, another tip she had was that this isn't her tip. This is my my thing. I don't like it when it's, if you can tell, it's raised right here. I don't like that. I mean, it can be pretty. So I just take my thumb and or my bone folder and put it on there. I mean, scrape it down there. Where is, there it is. New. Okay. So this is really not a, um... It doesn't matter which way the things go because it doesn't it do, it's not um directional okay so i'm going to we'll start with one like this okay ay, ay, ay. i'm just trying to show you with different paper how you can still do this whoops you can't do it like that um, what she said was the ang the straight angles are where you line it up. Like this one would actually go down here. This one, this is the one I was looking for, Wouldn't is not the one I was looking for. Hmm. Hmm, okay. This one goes here. That's pretty. How did I get them all the same way? Oh my goodness. I It didn't happen the first time I did this. These all went the same way. How odd. Well, okay. Don't mind me. I know what I'm not doing. <laughs> so see how I turned that one about? And the, um, I'll straighten out that later. But see how that's different? And then you can take it. Well, you can't take it that way, but you could bring it down here if you wanted to. Well, nope, you can't. I don't know. Anyway, oh, I know what I wanted to say. See, you could come like this. It's just how you prefer. That's really pretty, actually. Let's erase that. That's really pretty. I like that. Oh, my. That's really, really pretty. So anyway, um, 
that's that. But let's do the one that I had already prepped and put it together. This one. This one. Oh, we already did that. See these ones? The, these were my extras because I did two sheets of these. Just takes a six by six, right? And so we're going in this direction. The teacups are going up. They're not upside down. I like that. I, I'm particular about that. So this time we're going to take the teacup, move this, and I am hmm, going to use the sweet sorbet. I mean sweet sorbet. Hmm. I am going to use sweet sorbet. I like that. I like how it stands out. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, so this one's, oh, this one's going to be all me, I guess. All me. <laughs> Can we do one that's just like the other one? Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Because I don't like doing on the fly, on the, you know, uh-uh. No, no. Here, let's do the sweet sorbet. Ah, uh, no, to teach, nope, sweet sorbet. And we'll pick a different one. I use the green one. Which is, I'm listening, what color is it? It's Parakeet Party. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take, hmm, hmm, I like that color there. Hmm, I'm gonna take, nope. Decisions, decisions. And I'm a female, so I get to change my mind. Hmm. Okay, so I will put four dimensionals on the back of these. I had some already open, so I'm going to try to find those. Is it itty bitty? Here's some. Yeah, here's some. These will work. See, Paper Pumpkin and those kits I've been taking, talking about, just use up your dimensionals from there. And then remember the sides, you can use those too. They work just as well. I am putting this on first because um, I have no idea because I'm already peeling the things off. <laughs> There's no reason for my madness. <laughs> oh dear. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already um, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. It apparently helps me. I don't know much about the algorithms or whatever everybody's talking about. I don't know much about that stuff. My husband does all that for me. And, hmm. Hmm. I might have been just fine about putting it. Oh dear. Okay, guess what? <laughs> Hopefully this is going to be able to, yes, come off. Because I don't like it up there. Oh, I might get my own way. Oopsie. I did tear it a little bit, so we're going to hide that. Wow. Wow. We're trading out, not because it had that little mistake, but because um, I wanted to do something different. Now, I wanna bring out this little bit of um, Tahitian Tide, so I'm gonna use the Tahitian Tide, and I am gonna use this one. Even though this one's on, see the difference? Well, there isn't a difference. <laughs> They're the same, yay! 
I'm going to put this one right where I put the other one. So much easier to do exactly what you did <laughs> in the in the other videos than what you're doing now. You know, I'm not really good at uh, creating on the fly. I'm more of having it prepped and doing the exact same thing as I did before. So that is what I'm doing. Now, I am going to put one, another one right here where the, excuse me, where the leaves and this came together, where I glued them together. I put one here and one here. I was going to put one next to it, but I messed up. So you'll never know because know why? It's not noticeable. So... Let me take these things off. You don't, I don't need to be on the air with that, do I? You know how to take off backing. That's not difficult. Actually, when I first started, it was. <laughs> A lot of people say if you press into the center, you can take it off faster. I just feel the inside, the outside of it. That's all I do. Okay. I'm going to cover that up. Now, see, let me show you something else. This right here is joined, and you see the little join mark, right? But it's all angled and everything, and to me, that's what made it look like a handkerchief, and all I had to do was put a little piece of something here. But I wanted to keep the teapot and the teacup together, so that's what I did. I did the teapot and the teacup together with a thank you, and this is going to go to somebody very special that I was thinking of today. And that is it, y'all. That's that's it. Um, you got to see my my um, fussy cut, interesting thing, and uh, the projects, the product that we used. I'm gonna put all these about. We didn't. Well, we didn't do all of them. Maybe we should. Okay, you talked me into it. You twisted my arm. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're going to just see what happens, right? I mean, it's not like it's, you know, people are buying them for thousands of dollars. So let's, let's try something different. Let's try something new, right? And, ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so, again with the dimensionals, as soon as I find some that are being used, Okay, I don't have any. Well, that's a wonder. Let's start out with a new one. If you notice, I've got some lines I was showing in, a, in another video in the past, if you want to. One of these videos has it. It's not a technique, although I will be having a technique video that I learned from other people. Didn't come up with it myself. Okay, so let's do this. Put this one together. I'm going to do like I, I wanted to on the other one. Whoopsie daisy. Nah. It's not going to fit, so. You know what? Those three, well, maybe right there. Okay. Take these off. Whoopsie. Wow. The kind of nerve of some people's kids. Okay. And this one. You know what? Who says it? Look at that. Check that out. Okay. And see, we want to cover that up so we don't have to be right on top of it. Please be aside. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it helps to take the backings off. <laughs> if you're if you're trying to glue something down with dimensionals, it, it really does help to take the backings off. Oh, really? Seriously? Oh, my stars. Okay. So, I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. Oh, I like that. It's a little crooked. I don't like it that much. <laughs> Let's try to uncrooked it. Oh, actually, no, it's not. It's just my eyeballs. Okay. That's done. Yay. Okay. We're on a roll, folks. Okay, remember this one? We're going to fix it. We're going to use this and this. The two blues. 
Yes, we want the two blues. Okay, dimensionals, where'd they go? There they are. I'm trying to pick up the ones that have the little black line so I don't have to be hunting and pecking. I was just using that as an example to show how, you know, if you mark it up, then when you take off the, the backings, you know they're all off. See, right now we know that three of them, or three of them are off, but one of them's not, and there we go. And, oh, we have to hide that. Hmm. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Turn this over. Dimensionals. To the rescue! Oopsie. And one more up here. Yes. Take them off. It, I have a dumpster right next to me and I'm throwing them there. So, oopsie, right? And still having to cover this, remember? So, and there we go. Everything's covered. Okay, one more. Let's see, this one goes this way. <laughs> I just started laughing because I'm like, did I do them all the right way? <laughs> okay, so this one, and then, hmm, huh. yeah, why not, right? This is fun. I, I'm not an on-the-fly person. I, I'm not. But if you, if I'm on the spur-of-the-moment person. Just, you know, when it comes to creating, I have to have it in my head already. And these weren't in my head. These were just put it on there so they can see what you're doing. And then they can do their own, right? So, yikes. There we go. That was kind of fun. Thank you for forcing me to do that. You guys are so cool. <laughs> ah! These things, I so believe everybody that says um, that these are in everything. I mean, <laughs> I went into my, my drawer the other day for aluminum foil. Guess what I found? Oh, you knew. Wow. <laughs> dimensionals oh my goodness you know what I'm going to go like this with this one I'm gonna be different I like that oh my goodness let's clear off the area and look at our creation oh, I'm so excited to see what we created on the fly oh my goodness aren't you just proud of me I'm proud of me and I don't proud of me very often. Oh, look what we did. So awesome. Thank you so much for helping me. And thank you so much for sticking by and watching this whole process come together. I'm making sure that everything is in view. Oh, let me stand up so I can see view better. Oh, okay. Let's widen this out just a tiny bit. Oops, that's coming in. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? Okay, the strips. And um, can I show you right quick? Let me just grab another one. What you do is you take the strip. Now, these are quarter inch strips. It doesn't matter how long they are, okay? It matters not. All you do is you take these quarter inch strips and it's like a faux layer. It's that F-A-U-X layer. I don't know that I say that properly. And then when you're laying down your cart, your um, thing, I'm going to grab one so that you can see. I'm going to grab the red one. Just grabbing this right quick. So when you have it already, you have this, you have this, you know where you're going to send this. That's not it. Well, actually, no. Let's see. Okay, this one right here. It would go right here, right? Well, okay, let's say we're using the Parakeet Party. So what we would do 
is line this up like that, cut it. Well, I'm sorry, I wouldn't do it like that. I would do it like this first, cut this end, right? Then I would take this end, line it up here, and cut and cut this end over here. So then that way, um, and then what I do is I glue the, I put the glue on here, or sticky tape or whatever you're using, um, that tape that I'm not a big fan of. And you just, um, and stick it together and it's so easy actually if I can I don't know how to do the links so what I'm gonna do is for some reason you went out of balance okay so I will put her name down there and then you can um, you can look her up and she'll show you every little step but this is I showed you how I did mine and I know that you can take whatever I did and recreate your own. It is so exciting and it's so fun to come up with your own. Thank you, Cindy, for this great idea. And you just broadened my horizon. You broadened my creativity. Thank you so much. And thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate your, your, um, your visits. If, um, again, if you've not uh, signed up or subscribe, please subscribe. And if you did like this video, if I taught you something, please give me a thumbs up. That is very helpful to me and I greatly appreciate it. Also, my website will be in the description box below this video and um, the tools that I used and um, everything that I used in this video will be in the description box. Also, have a very blessed evening. Bye-bye.